Mary Underwood. fancies and in time may go but oh my dear our love is here to stay after receiving so many grammys and award and recognition how does it feel to to have this other recognition well it's it's all about the localness of things because you when you think of like um, entertainers and celebrities and people like that they're always larger than life and they're always for some reason they always seem bigger than local and that's where it starts that's why I'm so close to my community where I grew up in Oklahoma and like I said I feel like I'm, I'm getting involved a lot more here in Nashville because this is my community I'm going to be here for a very long time if not for the rest of my life and um, I love it here so it's it's nice to feel like I'm a human and I'm part of this this town this localness we just watched your special Christmas show uh -huh. And we saw a side of you that we haven't seen before. Right. You're actually funny. Yeah. <laughs> There's a personality in there somewhere. Oh, right. That's, well, that's the one criticism I always seem to get is, I, I, I think because of whenever I was on Idol, um, you know, I was from Oklahoma, I was farm girl on, um, on American Idol, and I think from that moment on, I felt like I had to paint myself as being an intelligent person because, oh my gosh, there are intelligent people where I come from, you know? <laughs> and, and so many people that grow up far away from small town, like in Oklahoma, don't really, they think we all ride around in carriages, you know? And so they're like, oh, she went to college? Oh my gosh, like that was a newsflash of the week so um, yeah every interview I did I was always very prim and proper and I, I wanted to make sure everybody knew that there was a brain in there somewhere yeah, and yeah and so being able to this to do this special um, I was with people that I know and I've known for a long time um, Nigel Lithgow I worked with when I was on American Idol and so many people I felt so comfortable around them um, I felt like I was able to just have fun with it and it was a lot of fun was it fun to have your family in it it was was. Um, I love that every like sketch that we did was some part of my life. My mom, my sister, my dog. Like it was all about things, you know, and people, you know, my my sister's obviously not <laughs> dating. Why like, didn't you let yeah. your mom sing the whole song? Um, <laughs> I thought I'd spare everybody. But she loved it. Oh my gosh, she had so much fun. She got all dressed up and she just did a great job. She's hilarious. She's a ham. What's next for you? Um, I have a tour coming up um, in March. I guess it starts right after my birthday. And uh, thank you. And um, yeah, so that's that's kind of the next project on the plate there. Wonderful. Can you talk about uh, your trip to Africa a little bit? Um, it was it was my second trip that I, I got to go on and. Um, it, we, we were in a different place. The, the first time we went was to see what was wrong. And the most recent time we went was to see um, how we're helping and the things that are, are going on that are good. Um, so the first one was a very difficult trip to make because we saw just the worst of the worst. The second one was hope. And uh, it was really nice to be able to go there and see where all the money people donate, where it goes, what it does, who it helps, and uh, meet these people that have hope. Being a vegetarian, how do you manage yourself to be on the road and have a good diet? Um, whenever we're in uh, a city with a decent, like, I can go shopping, it has decent grocery stores and things like that, like Whole Foods and things like that. I stock up and I keep tons of food on the bus and I never eat room service. I take food with me inside. We have like a little portable microwave that's like this big. Um, I'm a microwave whiz. I can cook anything in the microwave. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's all about finding it where you can and taking it with you. Okay. Thank you so much, Thank you. Thank you. I would certainly like to take a moment um, to uh, acknowledge the time of year it is. Um,
Christmas is about so much more than presents and family, although those things are pretty awesome. <laughs> um, this next song means so much to me, and uh, it's not a Christmas song, but it's definitely set this time of year, and uh, it just means a lot to me. It was my first song that you guys probably ever heard of from me, other than me being on American Idol, so here we go. Driving last Friday on her way to Cincinnati on a snow white Christmas Eve. Going home to see her mama and her daddy with the baby in the back seat. Fifty miles to go when she was running low on faith and gasoline. It'd been a long, hard week. She had a lot on her mind, but she didn't pay attention. She was going way too fast. She knew what she was spending on a thin black sheet of eyes. She saw both their lives flash before her eyes. She didn't even have time to cry. She was so sad. She threw her hands up in the air. And Jesus, take away. 